Hey, good morning, everyone. I am coming from you live right in front of my fireplace today. Um, maybe some of you guys know, but um, I have been down and out with a bug. I don't think it's the flu. Um, I don't have a fever, so that's good. Um, and the good part is, is it started three days ago, and every day I feel a little bit better. But I still feel like I don't want to leave the house, and I just want to sit in front of the fireplace all day. So that's what I'm doing today, um, recuperating. Got my box of Kleenex near me, and my um, a vitamin C, and my water, and I'm just recuperating. But I'm bored out of my mind, because I'm usually one, a person who is... Um, pretty active and um, involved in things. I love that. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jenna. Um, so I thought I'd hop on here today because that's what I like to do. I love to hop on live. Hey, Maggie. Uh, love to hop on live and give you maybe something that's been speaking to me to see if it's speaking to you. That's just the way I am. So, um, Hey Jenna, wanted to talk to you guys today about something that I love doing, and that is, and excuse my uh, nasally sound, and I might be coughing here in a second too, but this is live and this is life. Um, but I wanted to tell you about something that I love to do. I love to put jigsaw puzzles together. In fact, this is the one can you see it? This is the one I'm doing right now. I started about two months ago, and I never put a uh, time frame on jigsaw puzzles because I do them really at my leisure, and they're such a um, stress reliever for me. But anyway, I started one about two months ago, and I've just, you know, every few days or sometimes multiple times during the day or night, I'll, I'll work on this puzzle. Um, and here are some of the puzzle pieces that I was just working with. Um, anyway, I love starting out, and here's the lesson, guys, so try to connect the dots. Hi, Dar. Uh, connect the dots on what I'm trying to say. Um, thank you, Jenna. I'm planning on going to, to Nashville. Um, I'm going to Nashville tomorrow, and I'm doing some training on Saturday morning, so thank you very much for saying that. I appreciate that. But anyway, I love taking this jumbled mess of puzzle pieces, puzzle pieces, and looking at this jumbled mess and thinking, okay, there is a big picture in here somewhere. Um, and I love to watch things come together. I start with the frame first. I find the corner pieces and the straight edges, and that's how I start. Um, and then I gra gather the um, patterns together and the like uh, colors and that kind of thing. And I love, hey Kelly, I'd love to hear what you guys do. If you're a big jigsaw puzzle person, how do you start your puzzle? And, and, and what, uh, what do you do to get it started? Whatever. Anyway, here's where the lesson that I wanted to share comes in. So I don't know if you're like me, um, if you even do jigsaw puzzles, but in life in general, you get this big mess of life um, and, and got so much coming at you from all angles. And, um, you know, uh, you wake up, you go to work, you do your job, you, you, you put out fires, you come home, you uh, have dinner, and then you, you, you start all, you go to bed and you start all over again. It's just one big jumbled up mess. And you can't see the forest for the trees much of the time. Um, and let's face it, life is not getting any easier. We've got so much coming at us from all angles that if we don't plant our feet and say enough, if I don't stop on this rat race and all this that's happening, I'm gonna go nuts. And, um, but that's another story. But anyway, I look at puzzles sometimes like that and I think, ah, oh, I can't even see the forest for the trees in this puzzle. And I'll, I'll put pieces together and, and then it's just, it's too much for me. I'm like, I can't even, I can't even see where this is going. Hi, Kathleen. Uh, anyway, um, so many times when that happens, and one time, just last week, one of my college age kids was home and he was standing over my shoulder as I was doing a puzzle. And I said, Lucas, I was going nuts yesterday looking at this puzzle. There was just so much going on, just so much jumbled up mess that I had to walk away. <coughs> <coughs> and what do I do today? I, I walk back up to it and things make sense. 
I can see where this piece goes and this one went here and oh this one goes here and it makes sense and I thought isn't that a great great microcosm of our life that so many times if we step away and we get a fresh perspective Sometimes that means asking others opinions. What do you think on this stuff? Uh, tell me what do you see in it? But if we step aside or, or if we step back and we get a fresh perspective, things look better. Um, if you're a believer, I know that I look at my, hey Melissa, I look at my life and I think it's a jumbled up mess. There's no beginning, no end, and what in the heck are you doing? But I know that he sees the big picture and that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So I hope you're following with what I'm trying to say. This little lesson that jigsaw puzzles give me often is that the jumbled up mess of our lives often needs a fresh perspective. Now, um, here's a part two to this thing that I'm trying to get across to you. Years ago, I actually spoke in front of a group of women on this subject. It was about a puzzle. It was about how our our life comes together very neatly when we don't even see that it is. Hey, Jane, um, and if we really trust that he's got things in store for us, and if we just sort of be pliable in his hands, he will make things happen and will come together as a completed puzzle. But here's what I spoke on, uh, here's additionally what I spoke on years ago in front of these women, is I talked about the corner pieces on the puzzle. And I alluded to that at the beginning of this video. I start with the corner pieces and the straight edges and then my puzzle starts to come together. Well, I mentioned to these women that our lives, if we look at them, we, are, we have corner pieces to our lives. They are either people or circumstances that form us to be what we are today. Now the flip side of that conversely is sometimes the people or events aren't necessarily good for us. Uh, they are caustic and we need to get rid of them. Um, here's a saying by Jim Rohn, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So I'm asking you, who do you spend the most time with? Are they, are they caustic? Do they do you any good? Do you need to shut that season down and say, that's got to go, uh, put up boundaries? <coughs> but the corner pieces of your lives, if you really look at it and you really make sure that you've got a great group of close friends, they are going to be instrumental in helping you to become what you are today. Now, I look back 15 years ago when I spoke in front of a group of ladies, that group, that those corner pieces have sort of to switch a little bit and I've, and I've attained some new ones. But my point being is if you let them, if you really watch those average of the five people that you're hanging around with, you will have a very solid frame of your puzzle. Am I making any sense? I hope I am. So anyway, what were the points that I was wanting to make in this sick day video that I'm doing? Is to step back from the jumble of your mess. Look at it, if you will, as a big jigsaw puzzle and know that when you step back every once in a while, you will gain a fresh perspective. That might mean stepping away from social media sometimes, putting your phone away, um, really digging your planting your feet and saying, I'm going to put family first, um, sticking to what, uh, in the big picture, really what is meaningful in your life. It also might mean taking a step back and gaining a perspective by asking those that are near and dear to you to help you look to see what they see. But above all, above all, know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. He knows what your life is going to be like if you are um, in tune with what he has in store for you. So anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Thank you for paying attention to my video. I appreciate it. Um, if you got any value out of this, certainly share it. If you like what you heard, I do videos and blogs on my personal 
uh, website, lynnschrader.com, and uh, got more on there. But anyway, I'm all about paying it forward. I truly, truly am. A platform that I will always to take to my grave is to be confident and to know what your purpose is and to know that there are plans for you and that you really do need to take a chance on you and believe in yourself. So anyway, um, that's it. Have a great day. I hope, um, I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much.